Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, hello and welcome back to Ghost Bear's Legacy. I'm Computer, and last episode we went to a Smoke Jagger planet to search for some old Draconis mechs, but came up empty. The Jaggers have apparently taken them away for refitting, and I'm not entirely sure what we're up to today, so let's go find out. Planet, none, space near Garstead. Terrain is jump ship, all right, and ta time is not applicable because we're in space. All right, uh, at our last stop on the jump to Garstead, we have been intercepted by a smoke jagger jump ship. Jump ship, like, all right, not the drop ship, okay. You will have to fight in space on the surface of the jump ship, Bear's legacy. Your mech will be equipped with engineer's jump jets to give you a small constant down thrust simulating 0.2 g gravity to keep you from floating off. Defend the bear's legacy and destroy the smoke jaguar invaders. Technically they're not invading, but all right. Uh, radiation from the nearby sun will affect your instruments and satellite view. You will not be able to target all enemy units. Objectives. Primary. Defend your jump ship. Secondary. Destroy all enemy units. And we get to use our dire wolf. I am going to go with this one, just in case. You are very close to this system's sun. It will be affecting your targeting sensors and audio link. Seems like it is indeed infecting things like that. I wonder how heat will be dealt with. Technically, space is cold, but for heat to be transferred, it needs to be transferred to something else. So if you're in a vacuum, then the heat just stays kind of inside. Uh, so that would be bad, but this is in the 90s, so maybe they just figured space is cold, it's fine. We shall see. After our two sorties in their territory, the smoke jaguars have finally tracked our jump ship. To allow us to travel through their space unchallenged would be to admit cowardice. The smoke jaguars must challenge our presence in their territory in order to uphold their honor. Clan smoke jaguars' weakened state since Tukayid has frustrated and angered the warriors of the clan, who are known for their ferocity and bloodlust. They are hungry for battle and will fight furiously to protect their planet. Well, they must know that we're after the mechs that they've got, right? So this whole thing about not letting us through their space must be like a pretense that they can use to show the other clans like, hey, we had to, we had to. Don't you understand? We had to. But, uh, yeah. Well, let's see what this is all like. Let's check. Is this a good idea? We could have very long ranges. Yeah, although those LRMs are... That's not enough. You know what? We can just use you. Go weapons. Like that. And then go mediums. Eight of them should be fine. Or maybe four pulses. No, no. This is fine. And criticals. There. Do I have room for another heatsink? No, but I do have room for another laser. There we go. And save and accept. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh, new music, too. Okay, poof. Oh, hello. Oh, um, that's not the, the thing nearest me. Oh, heat is not a problem. Enemy 
mech destroyed. We have you guys, and we have you guys. You are actually scare me the most. And you're on your way here. And I can't really move. Oh, wow. Thank you for not using your speed to your advantage. That would have killed me outright. Go over here a little bit. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, you're moving. Probably very far away. You're not showing up on my radar, which means you're a thousand meters away. Or over, rather. Yep. Wait. Yeah, that's that's also work. Uh, F5 for this view and F6 for that one. Might be a little bit easier. Also, yes. Thank you. Yep, now they're hitting me. Come on, let me, um... I'm worried about... Not the heat, but damage. Good, 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 good. Worried about my torso now. Like all of my LRM ammo uh, are in my arms. If a torso goes, so does the arm. Are you just gonna sit over there? Chain fire engaged. Image enhancement engaged. Yeah, this works better. I mean, you have large lasers and PPCs and LRMs. I'm pretty sure. You could just stay at the extreme range. Oh, no, you're moving. And just pelt us. Then again, we could potentially do that to you too. And there we go. You're very fast. I'm not sure if I can hit you. I can't, sort of, but I can also fall down. Um, no. Chain fire engaged. Ow. Why? Why am I hitting myself? And why are they getting destroyed in air? Is there something in between us? Okay. Destroy all enemy units. Successful. Mission. Thank you. Successful. The hitboxes over there are not great. You successfully repel the smoke jaggers from your jump ship. You will now make the next jump to Garstedt. Resume the jump to Garstedt. More information on planet. Excellent. Fifty-eight point five percent hit percentage. Okay, yeah, that's not great. But at least I killed a few of them. After this defeat, the smoke jaguars will fight even more savagely on the planet's surface. They are weak. And will probably try to risk as few mechs as possible. We could take advantage of this and use our stronger numbers to subdue the jaguars, but that is not the clan way. We gain the most honor by taking victory with the smallest force possible. Yeah, conventional wisdom would be to just steamroll them. But 
that isn't very nice. Speaking of which, I've been fighting pretty dastardly, I would venture to say, uh, and using weapons that a little bit overpowered, maybe. I'll try to maybe play around with some of the other weapon systems. The ones that aren't too bugged, at least. And Gar's dead. And wait for orders. I can do that. That's not a problem. Maybe. Dialogue. Not sure. Like, heat was not a problem there. But with 25 heat sinks, I'm pretty sure I would just explode anywhere else. I was thinking maybe I just bring these because uh, the the pulse lasers, small pulse lasers, if you just shoot them every once in a while, they can do tremendous amounts of damage. They can leg a mech very easily. But uh, then again, wait, hold on. I just want to double check something here. Heat 2. And medium lasers 5 heat. So technically this should be... No, but, no, but the speed at which you shoot is also higher with the small pulse lasers. And is it 2 per shot and you shoot twice every time you pull the trigger? Or is it 1 per shot so you get 2 in total. I don't know. There are way too little stats here. Also, medium lasers. I don't think these would have actually hit the, uh, the enemy uh, jump ship. And relying on the other M15s would have been a bad idea. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, that's gonna have to be next episode. But also, a mission where you fight on top of a jump ship is pretty cool. Although maybe I was on the bottom of it. I wasn't really paying attention to that bit. But yeah, the missions are becoming a little bit more advanced now. The most advanced mission in Mech 2 was a mission where you start in a cave, shut down, but, uh, and then you have to like infiltrate uh, a base. But now you're fighting on top of a jump ship. Although, I have a memory of Mech 2 Mercenaries where you're fighting on top of an asteroid or like an ice asteroid, I think it is even. Looking forward to that. It's not long now, I think. But uh, anyway, with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Ghost Bear's Legacy. Thank you for watching. And I hope you'll tune in next time.